Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, May 27th in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. A chapter of one of the U.S. hotel industry's largest lobbying groups has come out against the Save Hotel Jobs Act, a bill that would set aside $20 billion of aid for the industry, writes hospitality reporter Cameron Spirins. Why is that? Ada Briseño, the co-president of the Southern California and Arizona chapter of Unite Here Local 11, calls the proposal an unnecessary handout to major hotel corporations and pandemic profiteering. She also stated that previous instances of federal aid failed to create job opportunities for Unite Here's members. But a significant part of Unite Here 11's issues with the Save Hotel Jobs Act stems from distrust with the California Hotel and Lodging Association, an AHLA partner. The California lobbyist group opposed right-to-return-to-work legislation that Unite Here 11 proposed for the state and argued it would slow down the rehiring process during the recovery, according to a letter obtained by Skift. The Save Hotel Jobs Act calls for hotel grant recipients to use funds for payroll and benefits. It also would demand recipients to give recall rights to laid-off workers. According to the American Hotel and Lodging Association, the U.S. hotel industry will finish the year with roughly a half million fewer jobs than prior to the pandemic. Next, Saudi Arabia has hired top tourism official Gloria Govera Monzo to serve in a key advisory role for its tourism efforts. Monzo most recently served as the Secretary of Tourism for Mexico and the CEO of the World Travel and Tourism Council, where she resigned earlier this month. Upon making the hire, Saudi Tourism Minister Ahmed Al Khatib praised Monzo for her international expertise and tremendous global network. In a tweet, Monzo expressed optimism that Saudi Arabia will become a tourism superpower and well-known global destination, something the country has struggled to accomplish due to its underdeveloped infrastructure and numerous human rights issues. The Saudi government hopes she will help develop its tourism industry as the country aims to decrease its reliance on oil. Finally, Airlines reporter Edward Russell writes that a partnership between Azul and LATAM Airlines is no more. LATAM announced that it will end the code share and frequent flyer relationship in August, less than a year into the agreement. LATAM Brazil CEO Jerome Cartier said it was time to end the code share as passenger volumes did not meet expectations. But there's more to the story. Azul believes LATAM's move was a response to Azul's decision to permit financial advisors to seek consolidation opportunities in Brazil. Reuters reported on Wednesday that Azul wants to purchase LATAM's Brazilian operation as part of LATAM's U.S. Chapter 11 bankruptcy restructuring. While it's possible that any consolidation would be between Azul, Gold, and LATAM, the three airlines that dominated Brazil's aviation industry. A LATAM spokesperson said the group has no intention of breaking up its operations in Brazil or elsewhere. They added there has been no merger proposal from Azul. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skiff.com slash daily. Spoken Layer. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, Brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for Brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.